This tutorial demonstrates how to generate WordPress pages from a CSV file that comprises of a list of services. You're not restricted to only using services and your CSV files data can be anything, whether that's locations, product services, etc. For this tutorial, we'll be using this example CSV file, which comprises of two columns, full and short, and a list of the services that our business offers. First, we'll use our CSV file as the data source for our keyword. If we navigate to Page Generator Pro and click on Keywords in the menu, you'll be presented with this screen where we then click Add Keyword. We'll define our keyword name as Service, and for the Source option, we'll select CSV file, click the Choose File from Media Library option, click the Upload Files tab, and then select our CSV file from our computer. Click Select. Because our CSV file has the column names in its first row, we will check this option, and the delimiter for most CSV files will be a comma. We'll click on Save, and we can see here that the keyword is saved successfully. If we scroll down, we have a preview of the data here where we can see our two columns full and short with the applicable data in each. Next, we'll create a content group which will be used to generate the WordPress pages using that CSV file data stored in this keyword. We'll click on Generate Content and then the Add New button. And we'll start by defining the title that we want for each of our pages as we want to generate a WordPress page for each service specified in our keyword, we will insert the service keyword here. To do this, we will start with the left curly brace, and you'll see a list of keywords presented here. There are three options. The first is the service keyword. This would output the entire row of the CSV file. We can output the full part, which would be bathroom installation, or the short column, which would be, for example, installation. We'll go ahead and select the full column. Then in our content, we'll define an example paragraph. In this case, Plumco provides services in Birmingham. Contact us regarding your requirements today. You'll see here we have two variants of the keyword. The first is service full. And to refresh our memories, this will output the value from the full column for each of the pages that we generate, so bathroom installation, remodeling, plumbing, etc. And then later on in the paragraph, we use the short column, and this references the data you see on the right hand side here, so installation, remodel, plumbing, etc. We can also modify the output of our keywords using what are called keyword transformations. We've got some detailed documentation on this, which is included in the video link. In this case, because all of our terms start with a capital letter, it wouldn't make sense for this to output with a capital letter at the start. So we can use the colon, which is a keyword transformation or modifier, and use the lowercase all option. This will transform, for example, installation into lowercase, which would make sense when we're reading this grammatically. It's always recommended to define a permalink, and typically this will match your title. So we can either copy and paste this in, and again, you'll see a suggestion there of the keyword that we want to use. Alternatively, you can use the insert keyword dropdown. This is available on most fields within a content group, depending on whether you're using the block editor the classic editor or a page builder. Once we're happy with our work, we can click on publish, close that sidebar, and then it's always good to generate a test page to see how this would look. So in our content group tab, we can scroll down and click the test button. If you don't see this sidebar here, so for example, your screen looks like this, you can click the settings sidebar, make sure the content group tab is clicked, scroll down and you'll see the test button under the actions area. We can click the link for the test page that's been generated 
and you'll see here that our first term, bathroom installation, is set as the title. You'll also see that the short data installation is lowercase based on how we configured the content group here. If we're happy with our content group and we'd like to generate all of our pages, there are two ways of doing this. We can click on the content group tab, scroll down and use the generate via browser button. Alternatively, in our generate content screen, we've got the option here to generate via browser as well. We'll go ahead and click that, confirm we want to generate all pages and our on-screen log shows that seven pages were generated. We can go ahead and click on any of these to see bathroom remodeling, shower installation, flooring, etc. So what the software has done here is it's worked through all seven of these terms, producing a unique page for each of them. If at any time we'd like to view the generated pages within WordPress, we've got this option called View Generated Content. Clicking this will give you a list of pages for that content group. We've also got this drop-down filter here that will list all of your content groups. So at any time when you're on pages or posts or a custom post type in WordPress, you're able to filter the table list based on the content group that generated that content.